The 2000 PBA season is winding down tonight. We're in Austin, Texas. It's the Pro Bowlers Tour on ESPN. Let's meet our finalists. Our tournament leader, holder of seven PBA titles. However, he hasn't won in over two years. He averaged better than 225 this week from Baltimore, Danny Wiseman. Our second seed, he's captured 24 titles, including two this year. The reigning PBA Player of the Year from Jackson, New Jersey, Parker Bone the third. Our third seeded qualifier, and what a year he's had, making his 11th TV appearance. Still in the hunt for PBA Player of the Year from Wichita, Kansas, Chris Barnes. In the number four position, a sensational amateur player in search of his first PBA championship from Mexico City, Patrick Healy, Jr. For the 17th year, the sport's top players have rolled into Austin, Texas. We're at Highland Lanes for the championship round of the Columbia 300 Open. Hi, everyone. I'm Phil Ferguson. Great to have you part of the program for the next 60 minutes. That's right. It's an hour telecast tonight. A little bit different format. Four players in our opening match. Players seated number two, three, and four will bowl one match. The winner moves right into that championship match to take on Danny Wiseman for the Columbia 300 Open title. My partner, where is he? Oh, he's down on the lanes. Let me send it on over to my partner, Marshall Holman. Marsh? Thanks, Phil. We're trying something a little bit different this evening. Now, our lanes are oiled to 33 feet and then buffed down to 42. And we have different colored material down the lane to show you the different break points. The green material is from 35 to 40 feet, the yellow from 40 to 45, and the red from 45 to 50 feet. This will enable us to show you the break point of the different players this evening. Now, the only thing we know for sure is that Parker Bowl in the third ball is going to be breaking in from the left side to the right. Other than that, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, yeah, and we are ready from Austin, Texas, uh, a site of a Marshall Holman win a while back. Right, Marsh? 1983. Quite fond, a while. <laughs> fond memories of Highland Lanes. Well, you bowled great in uh, Texas, won a couple of uh, tournaments in Grand Prairie and here in Austin, now Chris Barnes out of Wichita, Kansas. Opening shot. Oh, nice there, Marshall. Not playing a lot of break. Solid in the pocket. And Barnes, who has pulled great this year, but has yet to win a championship, really wants it today. Well, interesting player of the year. I mean, ballots for player of the year have not uh, yet gone out. I guess we can put it in the too close to call category. Parker Bone still has a shot. He told me he had to win both this week and next week to have a real shot at winning player of the year. Not a good start. Well, ball breaking in high. He's got the 2-4 on the left side of the lane, the 6-10 on the right. You'll watch the ball. It's going to break right through the heart of the lane, right through the heart of the pin, excuse me, and leaving a wide open split. Now he needs to get his ball to the left-hand side of that two pin and then Knock the two pin into the four, the six, and the ten. Well, I'll get it right. Thirteen of eighty-five splits converted this year on TV. Just fifteen percent. Got it. Though. That, that's exactly. It's a lot easier to Parker to make that split than it is for me to tell you what the numbers are on the pins. <laughs> I'm so used to thinking your right-handed turns. What a great shot from Parker Bone. You'll see the ball. It's going to hit just the left side of the two pin. Bang six. Bang ten. Goodbye spare. Easy for Parker Bone the third. Now we get a look at Patrick Healy Jr. He's been out here three years out of Mexico City. 32 great amateur players still trying to win that first title. Oh. Ball, soft. Yeah, ball coming in light leaving the two and the eight. Watch the ball as it goes down the lane. Now we're going to show where the break point is right here. It's about at it's coming in just after 50 feet and coming in a little bit late. He'll need to get that ball rolling up just a little bit sooner. He can do that with, with the roll fill, or he can do it with a little less speed. Beautiful. What a beautiful style, Patrick Healy. Very smooth. Very smooth style for Healy, and this man coming up has a very athletic style. Get the high back swing. Talking about Chris Barnes. Well... He won from the number two and number three spot last year. This is his 11th show this year, has not won. 
Barnes. All the talent in the world. And there's a double. And Marshall, I know that Chris Barnes, well, you got to go back, I think, when you won Player of the Year and did not capture a title. I think Pete Weber had two victories that year, and yet you still won. Yeah, and let's take a look at Chris Barnes watching the ball roll down the lanes. Will the 10-pin fall? Yes, it does. And when I when I won with the, with the uh, no titles in 87, it was a whole different scenario back then. Solid seven pin, four bone. There just weren't, uh, there wasn't a real dominant player in that year. I, I had all the statistical categories covered, but didn't win a tournament. And Weber had a couple of wins, but uh, I guess it was just my time. Seven pin. Well, if you can make that split, seven pin would be a gimme. <laughs> Give it to him. <laughs> Haley up in the second frame. Once again, there's four players on tonight's telecast. The winner of this match right into the championship game. Stick around. Came in light on lane 19. Has to be careful, doesn't come in high on 20. Perfectly shot. Just beautiful. Beautiful shot on lane 20. Up. We'll see the ball breaking in a little bit earlier, about 49 feet. Watch a six pin knocking into the 10. As you can see, Barnes, two strikes, got 11 pin lead over Parker, Bowen the third, and a 10 pin lead over Patrick Healy. Take a look at uh, Barnes, who can play any angle on the lane. He's not hooking the ball as much as he normally likes to, but he, he does have a lot of different, different games. He can throw it straight, he can hook it a lot. Yes, yes. Oh, that is sweet. And he's getting pumped up early. <laughs> he doesn't like the fact that he's made all those telecasts and hasn't won this year. You we went through a almost two-year period where you didn't win. That's got to weigh on your mind a little bit. Ball's going to end up high flush in the pocket. Pretty tough not to knock them all down when your ball hits there. But he has to keep adjusting. The lanes will break down during the evening. Now coming in high once again on lane 20. This six is a little more difficult. Yeah, that six a lot more difficult. Parker made the last split on lane 20, but uh, with the four, six, seven, ten, chances of chances of making this very, very slim. Once again, his ball breaking through the center of the pins. Doesn't break it down. He's going for it. And he comes up short. Just getting seven. So Parker Bone now with that open falls. Uh, Way behind now, Chris Barnes, who has started this first match with three in a row, and Patrick Healy, a spare strike, and uh, Healy now up in the third frame. Well, they're having a problem with lane 20. The, the machine did not reset, but now they've taken care of that. Healy came in light in the first shot on lane 19. And Parker came in high on lane 22 times. Will Healy make the proper adjustment to get his ball into the pocket on 19 and put pressure? On Chris Barnes. Oh, he loves it here at Highland Lanes. And... He oh, threw it slower. He slowed the ball speed down. Was yeah, able he... to get the get the break point proper. Ball gets right into the pocket, and that man right there has a 10-pin lead. Chris Barnes. The Professional Bowlers Tour on ESPN is brought to you by Columbia 300. Columbia bowls the world over. We are back in Austin. And boy, great crowds all week long. Always great to come here to Highland Lanes. And Chris Barnes, boy, out of the gate with three strikes. And looking to increase that lead to 20 pins over Patrick Healy with a strike here in the fourth frame. Barnes, boy, look at that. Ten straight TV appearances without a title this year. That is a record that he wish he didn't have. <laughs> no doubt. Got the ball further right, oh, but yeah. it comes back. <laughs> but he wasn't he wasn't sure, Phil, but he let that ball go if that was going to hook back or not. Kind of a, a pleasant surprise. Boy, up quickly. Four straight strikes. Now Bowen trying to figure it out. He's the defending champion. Yeah, better figure it out right now.